Whatever it's worth, I just wanted to share something that uh, uh, occurred to me today when I was in a firehouse subs. Um, I was in a firehouse subs and today's like sort of a semi-holiday, it's Black Jesus Day, you know. So um, things are a little a little more mellow uh, in these, uh, there's a different feel than what you'd find in a, on a typical work day. Um, and uh, there was a young woman, you know, uh, pleasant looking, uh, fairly attractive, but uh, like young, I'm not saying, you know, like hubba hubba or anything, because she was young enough to be my daughter, so, I mean, she looked like since she was in her early 20s. So, you know, definitely nothing nothing like that uh, occurred to, me, to my mind, uh, I, I assure you. But um, she saw me and she smiled at me and you know, I'm not I'm not usually the recipient of uh, a smile from a a young lass. So, <laughs> so but then I noticed before before my ego could get too uh, too stroked, I noticed that this girl was was sitting down at a table, or had when she went back to sit down, she was sitting at a table with another girl and they both had name tags and I realized they were Mormon missionaries. They were sister missionaries, uh, sitting in the, this, uh, subway or this, um, firehouse subs, you know, having their lunch. And I thought to myself, yeah, that's They would be friendly. They would be nice. They would, they would greet strangers, uh, you know, strange middle-aged men, uh, <laughs> you know, with, with a, a friendly demeanor, that's, that's what they do. That's the Mormon way. And, um, and then I, I, I thought about it some more and I realized, now I'm not, I'm not recommending this per se. Um, but it's something to think about. Um, I'm not, the reason I'm not recommending this is because it's like, uh, I'm not, I'm not for doing things like, uh, converting for tactical reasons. You know, I think, one should convert to a faith that one finds to be the truth, and that's why I am Catholic. Um, you know, in spite of all the problems with Catholicism today, undeniably, uh, you know, but that's that's who I am, that's where I am. And uh, I am not saying to young men today uh, who, who are looking for love, you know, I'm not saying become a Mormon, okay? I'm not saying go LDS. But I am saying that it strikes me that amongst the LDS um, society, amongst LDS um, uh, culture, in LDS culture, I should say, there is uh, probably far less of the kind of problems that you see uh, between the sexes uh, in in uh, the, the outside of the uh, LDS church. That is to say, what you have uh, with uh, the Mormons is you you have people, it's still a, a cultural thing, probably not as much as it used to be, but it's still not unusual at all for them to marry quite young. And there is pressure to marry, and young women uh, who are LDS want to marry. Um, so... It's, it just strikes me that uh, there's probably less of a problem with uh, um, hypergamy, you know, like like malignant hypergamy that, that we see among so many young women today. There's probably uh, less of a problem with, oh, he has to be perfect, but I have to become, you know, a, a, a boss babe first, and, and I have to put my career first until I'm 35, and then I'll and and then and just sleep around with with chads uh you know that kind of stuff i'm sure it still happens don't get me wrong i'm not naive i'm sure it still happens among religious people including the lds but it seems to me that it would that uh, there is something in the culture that still very much militates against that and so what you have are young women who are uh desirous of marrying and they're probably more likely not to have lower standards about men, but to have different, to have more realistic standards. You know, that it's, if, if it's a priority to marry 
when you're still fairly young because you want to have children, um, then there's probably less of a, oh, you know, he's got a, I'm, I'm, I'm rejecting this, this guy, even though he's got 70% of what I want or, or 80% of what I want because he's got to be perfect. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I, all these men want my attention all around the world. Well, um, that's probably far less true for LDS young, young LDS women. Uh, I, I dare say it was true about these, these two sister missionaries that I saw who looked like very, very pleasant, uh, uh, young women too. Um, so just something to think about. Again, I'm not saying become a Mormon and I'm sure I'll have somebody out there saying, no, you're wrong. The black pill is everywhere. And it's, it's just as bad with the Mormons as it is everywhere else. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will chime in. I'm sure uh, I'll hear from Mr. Black pill. Um, I'm, I grew up LDS and it's all, it's just as bad there as it is everywhere else. You know, I'm sure I, I hear you. I know you're out there. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> but, uh, nevertheless, something's, some things to think about. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know.